Hey internet friends, good morning, welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting me here, hello, hi, welcome, my name is Sierra and I'm an American who lives in England and I make videos about my family's life here or whatever it is I'm interested in filming on the days that I sit down to film. In today's video, we're gonna be going back to kind of like my OG YouTube days when I used to do a ton of Lush content. I do make a fair lot now, but I think back when I started YouTube was I think in 20... 16, maybe 2015. Uh, but back then I did almost exclusively Lush content and then my family moved to Japan and we made a lot of travel content and my channel turned into what it is now. So if any of that stuff sounds interesting to you, please just do me a favor and hit the little subscribe button. It's a free, easy way to help out the channel and it makes me feel really happy when a new person joins. So please go ahead and do that and we're gonna move on to the actual video. Okay, so now that you're a new subscriber, welcome, and we're going to get into the reason why you guys are actually here, and it's because we're going to be talking about the Lush Halloween range for 2024. I know, it is the middle of July. Actually, I'm in my office. It's pretty hot in here, so if I look shiny, I'm suffering for you. I'm suffering for the art, so you're welcome. Anyways, every year the Halloween range usually comes out at the end of August or earlier September, but usually, like all the other Lush collections, it's leaked somehow, either on Instagram or on Reddit. And Actually, yesterday I saw the first leak of it when I was on Reddit, and I was really excited about that. And then this morning I noticed that Lush Sense Instagram page, which I'll link them down in my description if you want to follow them, they always put out a lot of new Lush content, and they seem to know everything about Lush before Lush comes out with their collections every year. I think it might be a Lush employee or someone at Lush headquarters that secretly runs it. And every time a new collection is posted, they always tell us about it, and they're usually right. So, um, without further ado, let's get into discussing and me reacting to the Lush collection for 2024. I'm gonna put up as many pictures as I can find up here in the corner, which is why I'm gonna just kind of scoot over a little, but that's why that's there. So if you think I'm off-centered, that's why I'm off-centered. Anyways, all right, let's start out with bath products. So first product of the collection for 2024 is gonna be the Bat Art Bath Bomb, which is very exciting. I think I tried this for the first time, oh gosh. It must have been like four or five years ago, but it's been coming out over, over and over again since then, but it's a really pretty purple bath color. Then, next item is, ooh, it is going to be a new item, and it is the Frankenstein bath bomb, which looks like this. I assume you know who Frankenstein is. He was one of the first ever TV monsters, and the, the bath bomb of him is a little bit scary, not gonna lie. Um, I'm kind of afraid of it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. It's gonna be scented with galvan oil, pine, geranium, and fir balsam, which sounds like it's gonna be really herbally, which makes sense for Frankenstein because he's green, right? So it should be really herbally and kind of manly smelling. Does that make sense? Okay, next item is the Pumpkin Pumpkin Bath Bomb is coming back again, which is a cute little orange bath bomb that is basically, to me, pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie scented. And next we have a new product. It is the Hocus Pocus Socus Bubble Bar. As you can see in the picture, it looks exactly like the Comforter Bubble Bar, except instead of being pink, it's bright lime green. So that should be really good. And that one is gonna be scented with the Ava Bath scent, so it's gonna be lemongrass and bergamot. And then up next, we have another old favorite, oldie but a goodie, and one of my favorites of the collection, as of two years ago, and that's the Bubba Lugosi Bubble Bar. It smells delicious. I think the scent is also gonna be the same this year. Okay, the next one is the Enchanted Fairy House Bombshell. Wow, that's really cute. It looks just like a little tiny fairy house and is scented with the Madame President scent. So that's Petit de Grain and Grapefruit. And then next, the I Want My Mummy Bath Bomb is coming back again. However, it does look a lot different, which is right here. It's got some pink added to it this time, which super adorable. And it looks like this year it's gonna be the Nevermind the Ballistic scent. So it's lime, sweet well, orange oil, and frankincense. Awesome. Then again, we have another old favorite. Looks exactly the same as the Alien Bubble Bar, which is lime scented, if I do believe. And the next one is the last one in this little list is the Dancing Skeleton Bath Bomb, which is really cute. As you can see in the picture, he's just, you know, standing up there dancing like, you know, a dancing skeleton would. And he is going to be scented with the Angel's Delight scent, so that's tangerine and orange. Wow. Okay, so that's a lot. And we still have another set of, I think it's 10 items. They're going to be bath items. No, it's seven more, but that's a lot of bath items, Lush. Wow. Um... I love that. I love a good bath item, so I am not going to complain. Okay, let's look at some more bath products. Drum roll, please, or whatever the Halloween equivalent of it is. I don't know. Okay, moving on to the next set of bath products that are coming out for Halloween from Lush 2024 is the Pumpkin Crumble Bubble Room, which we have had before, and I think it smelled like, to me, like freshness and not really like pumpkin because it's grapefruit, juniper berry, and lime. 
And then the next one, again, we have the Brain Freeze Bath Bomb. It's going to be mellow mint scented, so it's going to be peppermint, cypress, and spearmint, which I really like that one. That's exciting. Okay, and then next one, we have another bubble bar that's shaped in like the classic circular bubble bar shape, and it's called the Witchy Woo Bubble Bar. It's green and black, so very witchy. Kind of reminds me of Wicked. I wonder if it's Wicked inspired. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section because I think that would be really interesting. Maybe it's like a sneaky collaboration that's not a collaboration. Not sure about that. Anyway, it's going to be lime and olibanum oil and neroli oil. So that's going to smell amazing. Might have to eat that one. I'm not actually going to do that, but I'll probably want to as soon as I smell it. Before that gets too deep into your mind, let's look at the next product. And it's going to be the Invader from Mars Bubble Bar, which is really cute for some reason. I don't know, I feel like it looks more like a bath bomb in this picture than a bubble bar, but it is a little like alien person with their brain sticking out of their head. Really, really interesting. And it is going to be also the never mind the ballistic scent. So that's the lime, sweet orange, and frankincense. All right, next one is a returning favorite. It's going to be the Ghosty Bath Bomb, which has changed its scent a couple of times over the years. But this year, um, the Ghosty Bath Bomb is going to be scented as the Avo Bath scent, which is lemongrass and bergamot. And next, we have another product that came out last year as well. However, it's going to be different because they changed the scent, and that is the Magic Potion Bath Bomb, and it is scented with Yognog. Yum. I am here for it. And then there's one more bath product coming out, but we don't have a picture for it on Instagram. It's just listed down in the description, but it is called the Scream Bubble Bar, and it's just it's a new product, so maybe it's going to look like this. <laughs> But it's going to be Toil and Trouble Scented, which is, I think, a body scrub that came out for the past few years for Halloween. It was purple and had little bats in it. And that scent is Lavender Peppermint, Laudanum, Patchouli, and Sage. So that's going to be incredible. Um, you guys, as I look through this list, I don't think I can afford Halloween this year. I don't think I can afford anything this year. Y'all, if you're a praying person, pray for or send good vibes for my wallet because I... I'm excited, but I cannot afford this. Moving on to the next section, we move on quickly to shower for Halloween 2024. Shower is always good. I'm hoping for some Lord of Mist rule in there because it's a classic. I know there's going to be a new shower gel um, coming out, maybe two. We'll see. I did not look at these ones. Let's just swipe. Okay, so of course, first coming up, we have the Lord of Misrule shower gel. Of course we do. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's like a sweet pepper patchouli scent and it's fantastic. Okay. Next we have Pumpkin Pie Soap, which has a different shape this year. I think it has a different shape. But this one is going to be scented with the Madame President scent. So it's going to be a Petite Grain and Grapefruit. Next we have another returning favorite. It is the Monster Octopus Shower Jelly that smells like passion fruit. Although I think the color is different. I think, was it last year or two years ago? It was a really deep fuchsia color, um, but now it's like a light pastel -y color. Next up we have another shower gel. It's the glow in the dark shower gel, which we have had before, and it's going to be the Owl Bath scented, which is going to be lemongrass bergamot. So I think it is the same scent as, if you guys remember the ghost in the dark soap, the one that is like um, luminescent and glows in the dark. Little man loves it. I buy him one every single year. It's going to be probably the same. Okay, and then we have another returning favorite that we loved last year, and it was the Demon in the Dark Soap. It looks exactly the same. I think the scent is going to be the same, and it's just a little ghosty on a little black soap. Super adorable. Everyone who came to our house during Halloween last year saw in our bathroom and loved it. And then we have a product I mentioned earlier, uh, which is the Ghost in the Dark Soap. I think that a lot of kids and their parents would freak out if this didn't come out every Halloween, so awesome lush, and again, it's the Avo Bath scent. And then there's gonna be another shower slime this year, and it's a Toil and Trouble shower slime which a shower slime, if you don't know what it is, it's basically a shower gel, but it comes in like a black pot like this, but a lot bigger. And you use it pretty much like you would use shower gel. Once in a while, there's like something gritty in there to make it a little bit of like scrubby, but um, I don't have an ingredient list for this one. I just have scent notes, but it is going to be scented with lavender, peppermint, laudanum, patchouli, and sage. So again, the same as the other product that is the Toil and Trouble scent. And then once again, we have another item that's listed, but there's no photo for, which is totally fine. And it is the Scan Me Pour Scares shower gel, and it looks like it's going to be my favorite Christmas scent. I'm not sure if we're releasing it now, but I'm not going to complain. And it is the Bouche de Noel scent. So Bouche de Noel is a sweet almond, vetiver, and cedarwood smell. I'm not sure why they're releasing this scent now. Maybe they're going to be bringing back the Bouche de Noel face wash. That would make me really happy. Or face scrub, sorry. It's made with like um, like a crushed almond um, texture, and I loved it for my skin every year. Um, and I think it also had cranberries in it. I know it's not listed on the ingredients, but I wonder if there's going to be a little cranberry in there as well when it officially comes out. We'll see. Okay, move on. We're going to look at face stuff now. So it's going to be like lip scrubs, maybe a face wash. I don't know. I didn't look at this one. So let's look at it together. First up is a lip scrub. It's going to be the Blood Orange Lip Scrub. So I have not tried this before. I think it is new. 
um, but it's going to be scented with orange, Devana, and Tagas, so it's going to be just like an orangey, lovely lip scrub, which sounds awesome. Okay, next one, another lip scrub. It's going to be the Bat Current Lip Scrub. Interesting. I wonder if this is going to be like the same as the Sugar Plum Fairy one, but not Sugar Plum Fairy, because it said it's going to be Black Current and Devana scented or flavored, so should be interesting. Okay, next one is, oh! Favorite face mask for Halloween that has ever come out, and it's gonna be the Mr. Pumpkin face mask. Amazing. I wonder if the scent, let's see if the scent is gonna be the same. I don't know if they would change it. No, it says returning product, so it's gonna be almond buttercream scented, so cinnamon, limes, sweet wild orange oil, and red mandarin. It's so lovely. I just love it in the fall for my face because it's made mostly of pumpkin butter, so it's really moisturizing and amazing. Yes, okay. Next one, they're going to have a, another face mask, which again, we don't have a photo for this one. Actually, there's two more that we don't have photos for, but it's going to be the Black Cat Sheet Mask. So I'm guessing it's going to look kind of like, do you guys remember the Black Cat Bubble Bar that came out? Oh my gosh, the first time, I think it was 2017 maybe. I'm guessing it's going to look like that, like the bubble bar, but like as a face mask maybe. I don't know. That should be really interesting. And it's going to be Sound of Wood and Rosewood. I think that's the Dark Angel scent. Sounds pretty good to me. And there's one more under this. Again, we don't have a photo for it, but it is the Bootiful Under iPad. Um, don't know what that's going to be. It's going to be, you know, maybe there'll be like little ghosts that you can put under your eyes. Maybe like their heads will start here and then like their tails. Do ghosts have tails? You know what I mean? Like the bottom feet area of the ghost. Whatever. All right, that is the end of the face section, and we have just one more section to go, which makes it really sad. But it looks like I've been talking for like 20 minutes, so I'm probably gonna have to cut out some of my rambling. But anyway, move on to the last bit is the fragrances and more. So I'm hoping for some candles. I only have one Lord of Mist Rule candle left, so if that doesn't come out, I'll be really sad. So let's see. First up is a Roasting Chestnuts Lush Melt, which looks a little bit like one of their candle melts, but maybe it's supposed to be a bath melt. I'm not sure because it's only four pieces um, instead of like the usual eight. So don't know what that's about, but it's going to be the chestnuts of roasting on an open fire scent, which again, I thought is a Christmas scent. So I'm not sure why Lush is bringing out Christmas scents at Halloween. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire it used to be a shower gel. And on here it said it's going to be scented with cassia, cedar wood, clary sage, vetiver, and almond. So awesome. I wonder if you can use it as like a massage bar too. I'll have to check that out and find out when it comes out into our store. Next one is... The Pumpkin Spice Lush Melt. Okay, huh. I guess maybe it's just a smaller version in case you don't want to put the cash out for the bigger version. Not really sure, but Pumpkin Spice Lush Melt is going to be scented like pumpkin spice, as you can guess. Um, it says on here, cinnamon, clove blood, ginger, so pumpkin spice, which is awesome if you, don't want, if you, if you can't burn candles or you don't want to burn candles. All right, speaking of candles, the next item is the Lord of Misrule 3 Wick Candle, so that's the big, big one. Um, definitely have to get one of those ones. Although I don't know if Mr. is going to let me because I have so many of them already. I remember last year it being pretty expensive, so that might just deter me from buying it anyway. Not sure. I don't know. Should I buy the candle? Let me know in the comment section. So we have just one more item on the list, which is not a surprise to me at all, and it's the Lord of Misrule Body Spray, which comes in like the big sprayer. Um, personally, I don't really use the Lush body sprays or the perfumes very much, but these are great for like room sprays also. So maybe I'll get that as like a Halloween room spray instead of the candle, because then I can just spray it around and then it will smell. If you had the choice, which one would you pick? Would you pick the body spray or the candle? Let me know down in the comment section. But yeah, wow, that's everything that we know of right now for the Lush Halloween range of 2024. I'm very excited about it. Uh, it's crazy to me how big the collection is, and I don't know if it's because Lush has expanded more and now they just have more things they can offer us, but I'm really excited. Um, also, I don't have an official official release date, but they say the estimated release date is going to be August 29th. So yes, it'll be unavailable online and in stores. So let's hope on August 29th this one actually does come out. Um, so until August 29th, I will be sniffing my products from last year and hoping that it comes out a little bit sooner. So I think that that's it. So if you're excited about the Lush Halloween range, let me know in the comment section which products are the ones that you're most excited about. Let me know if there's any Lush related content specifically that you're interested in seeing from me. Um, like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Happy early Halloween. Bye.